Broadly speaking, when looking at, at a post-secondary institution, uh, you should be considering uh, factors of academic fit, of environmental fit. This is going to include uh, things like the, the campus environment, your, your classmates, physical space. And then finally, also financial fit. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about financial aid and, and funding uh, as it relates to this decision. So some of the FAFSA basics. The FAFSA opens up every year on October 1. So for those seniors that are out there right now, this is prime time FAFSA filing season for you. Um, this, the October of your senior year, as close as you can to October 1, I would recommend filing the FAFSA. Now you actually have you know, several months to finalize your FAFSA. However, the sooner you file, the sooner you get the opportunity to review financial aid eligibility. So right now is the 21-22 FAFSA filing season. Um, if you're a junior this year, this upcoming April, October will be your time to start the FAFSA. Information from student and parent tax return and returns and W-2s are needed. Now there is a tool on the FAFSA, it's called the IRS data retrieval tool, and I really recommend using that. What that does is allows you to link from the FAFSA to the IRS website and pull in your tax return information. Uh, you know, your average school week, it's important to understand. Um, you'll be attending classes just like your fellow students, whether that's at a school like University of Pittsburgh or a military school like the one I attended at Citadel. Uh, you are a regular student, uh, but on top of that, uh, in addition to your normal course load, you'll be attending an NRTC class, which does contribute towards graduation, you know, three credit hour classes, and you will do that every semester from freshman year to graduation. Uh, generally, there will be two physical training sessions a week and then one lab. And the difference between a lab and a physical training session is a lab is usually hands-on training that involves things you'll actually be doing in the Marine Corps. And we'll generally do, most programs will have one weekend a semester where you'll actually go to a base and conduct uh, 48 straight hours of training, and get more of a taste of what it's like to be operating out in the field. Okay, so when we're talking about vocational education, what is vocational education? Okay, funny you should ask. And define education that prepares people to work in a trade, and you see the word union in parentheses, because there's a tie in, in a craft, as a technician or in support roles and professions such as engineering, accountancy, nursing, medicine, architecture, or law. Okay, next please. Okay, continuing to define what vocational education is, um, is sometimes referred to as career educational, excuse me, career education or technical education. But in short, it's based, it's based in or on manual or practical activities that are traditionally non-academic, but related to a specific trade or occupation. What advantages does having uh, the title of Eagle do with admissions? How much weight does that carry? So, I think you're going to find that when colleges and universities are, are reviewing an application, they're really asking themselves two essential questions. The first is uh, about admissibility, and it's about academics or, or uh, for an artistic program, artistic talent. Is this a, a student that has the right prerequisite knowledge and skills uh, to come in and do a successful member of our, our classroom, our lab, our studio, our conservatory. Uh, it's selective institutions, though, it goes beyond that question of admissibility. And that, that second question is really about building community. How will this candidate make uh, my institution as an application reader uh, a more interesting, more dynamic, more supportive and inclusive place for their classmates, their lab mates, their roommates? And in answering that question, the ways in which applicants engage with their community 
is in, an incredibly important part of 